the Amazon rainforest, it's a world of mystery, a vast green ocean of trees stretching across an entire continent. For centuries its deepest corners have hidden secrets from the outside world, people who live along its winding rivers have passed down stories for generations. They tell of creatures that defy belief, monsters that lurk just beyond the veil of civilization. Among these legends, one stands out, whispered in hushed tones around crackling fires. They speak of a giant serpent, a snake so immense, it can swallow a person whole. They call it, the Yakumama, the mother of the water. Is it just a myth? A campfire story to scare children? Or could something that massive truly exist in the darkest, most remote parts of the jungle? We know the green anaconda, the heaviest snake on earth, but the legends describe something far, far bigger. Our journey started where the roads end. We left Brazil's bustling cities behind, trading pavement for muddy riverbanks. Our team was a mix of seasoned biologists, local guides who knew the jungle like the back of their hand, and a film crew ready to document whatever we found. Our mission, a remote tributary rumored to harbor exceptionally large anacondas. We packed cameras, scientific equipment, medical supplies, and enough food for weeks. The air was thick with humidity and the sweet earthy smell of the rainforest. The first days were a slow chug upriver, wide, calm water, for now. We studied maps, targeting blackwater swamps, oxbow lakes, and flooded forests. Perfect hunting grounds, water to support great weight, cover to strike unseen. By day we traveled, by night we camped high, and stayed vigilant for jungle dangers. As we traveled deeper, the rainforest transformed around us. The wide river narrowed into a twisting, claustrophobic channel. Giant trees formed a dense canopy, plunging the world below into twilight. Every surface teemed with life, mosses, fungi, orchids, and countless insects. It felt like we had entered a different planet. By day, a chorus of insects and macaws, by night, frogs and unseen rustles. Navigating swamps was hardest, the black water reflected the jungle like a dark mirror. We prodded the depths before every step, wary of caimans, eels, and the snake we sought. Shapes slid below us, our hearts raced, river otters, great fish and, and maybe more. Every creature fits a web, the jaguar swims, capybaras flee to water, the anaconda rules it, eyes and nostrils atop its head let it see and breathe while the body stays hidden. We weren't just in its home, we were in its hunting ground, playing by its rules. To understand our quest, you have to understand the anaconda. The green anaconda, Eunectes marinus, is a marvel of evolution. Not the longest snake, that's the reticulated python, but the heaviest and most powerful. Females can exceed 20 feet and weigh over 500 pounds. Their girth can top 12 inches, a coiled spring of crushing muscle. Constrictors kill with force, not venom. Backward-facing teeth latch, then coils lock. Each breath tightens the noose. The biggest individuals can overpower deer, tapirs, even jaguars and black caimans. They unhinge jaws to swallow colossal meals and sometimes won't eat again for months. Shy, aquatic, and nearly invisible, dark green blotches vanish in sun-dappled water. This is why finding a truly massive one is so rare. They avoid humans, attacks are extremely rare and usually mistaken identity in murky water. It happened on our twelfth day. We entered a lagoon locals called Jiboya Atu, Big Boa. Our guide Kale raised his hand. He pointed toward tangled logs and mats of hyacinth, fifty yards ahead. We saw only chaos, until a pattern emerged. Not a log, a pattern. Black circular markings of a green anaconda, but on an impossible scale. It was immense, the logs were her coils, basking in a rare patch of sunlight. A collective gasp rolled through the boat, the exposed back was wider than a truck tire. Her massive head lifted, black forked tongue tasting the air. Cold ancient eyes watched us with unnerving calm, no fear, no aggression. We measured from a safe distance, visible body plus submerged coils put her over 26 feet. Her girth was record-breaking, estimated 600 to 700 pounds, bigger than any on record. Finding a snake of this size is more than a thrilling adventure, it's a scientific milestone. For decades, maximum anaconda size sparked debate, tales of 30, 40, 50 feet dismissed as folklore. Our female, nicknamed Yakumama, pushed the boundaries of what's possible. Giants are indicators. Where a top predator thrives, the ecosystem thrives. A snake this large needs plentiful prey, clean rivers, intact forests. It takes decades to reach epic size. Many never live that long. 
and habitats are shrinking. Deforestation, pollution, encroachment. Mercury from illegal gold mining moves up the food chain and concentrates in apex predators, sickness, birth defects, death, an invisible, silent threat. Her story traveled the globe, rekindling wonder and urgency to protect these places. Her discovery urges us to keep looking, keep exploring, and keep protecting the last wild strongholds. There are still giants in the jungle, and they depend on us. Long before our cameras, the people of the Amazon knew these giants. For them, the anaconda is a powerful spiritual being, the creator of waters. They say its body carved the river's winding path, a being of immense power, causing whirlpools, summoning storms. Legends teach survival. Stay back from night waters. Respect sacred lagoons. Stories become unofficial protected areas where wildlife flourishes. Another legend, the Boitada, a fiery serpent guarding the forest from arson. Perhaps myth born from glowing fungi on a log that looked like a snake. When we shared our discovery, elders nodded, they always knew she was there. Science and tradition aren't rivals, they're two ways to honor the same truths. They asked us to treat her with respect and leave her in peace. It was humbling. Yakamama is a celebration and a warning. The Amazon is vanishing every minute, several football fields lost, cattle ranching, soy, illegal logging. These don't just fell trees they unravel entire ecosystems, mercury poisons rivers, fish, predators and ends with the anaconda. Yakamama is an ambassador for her species and her home protect vast forests, enforce parks, support indigenous reserves, back eco-friendly economies that keep forests standing, choose deforestation-free products, our carts shape the canopy. When people connect emotionally they act awareness becomes protection. Responsible choices can secure a future for giants like Yakumama. We can't save one without the other, snake and forest, river and people. Our expedition began with a myth and ended with a profound connection, seeing her felt like science and something spiritual, a reminder of complexity, beauty, and mystery. She embodies resilience, power, and ancient wisdom. Downriver, the jungle felt less menacing, more sacred. We carried, not just data, but a responsibility. She is a living reason to protect the Amazon at all costs. If their world vanishes, we lose more than a species. We lose part of our planet's soul. Next time you hear a myth, listen. Our world still holds giants and secrets. Yakumama is proof. Wonders remain, waiting to be discovered. She is the wild heartbeat of the Amazon. Let's make sure that heartbeat never fades.